Hello everyone, this is Matt with Amped Outdoors. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to connect our Bluetooth smart meter to a battery that doesn't already have Bluetooth built into it. And this battery here, this does have Bluetooth in it, but I'm gonna use this as an example, as this is not required if your battery already has Bluetooth. If it does not, then you can use this Bluetooth shunt to wirelessly monitor your battery system using your smartphone. So the first thing you want to do is remove this shunt out of the box. Remove the negative screw on your battery post. You'll notice on this meter there's a B- and there's a P-. The B- is going to connect directly to that negative post on your battery. Inside your box we do include a longer screw and this bolt will connect to that. It's a little bit longer and you'll be able to tighten that down. Make sure you tighten this down properly using the correct tools, not hand tightening like I'm doing here. And uh, then the only other connection from the monitor to the battery is going to be to the positive. So we've got this positive cable. And that's how simple it is to really connect this. When you connect your components to this battery, nothing will connect to the negative post. It must connect to this P- minus post on the meter for the negative components. That's a negative from your charger or the negative going to your source, whether it's a trolling motor, fishing electronics, or other devices. So you want to make sure those are all connected to P-. Minus. Only the B- minus on this meter connects to the negative battery post. Then you can connect your positive items, charger, and sources directly to the positive here with this positive cable. So now we're going to show you how to set up this meter and use it on your smartphone. As you can see here on our screen, we have both Amped Outdoors Bluetooth app installed on this phone. Since you're using the Bluetooth Smart Shunt, which is an add-on device to a battery without Bluetooth, you want to download the green background app and open that up. Once you open this app, it's going to ask you, and this is just for the first time that you open it, to accept permissions, which you want to allow permissions for this app to connect to your Bluetooth smart shunt. You will then see the battery or the shunt on the screen here that you're going to be connected to. If you'd like to auto connect every time that you open the app, you can turn on the auto connect function and then you may connect to the battery. But before I do that, one option in, in this top right corner, there is a way where you can go in and change the name of this battery. If you change the name of that battery, you hit save and it'll save it permanently to that meter. Once you connect to the battery, it's going to show up on your screen here. Now right now it's just displaying voltage because we first have to set up the battery. I would suggest doing this when the battery is fully charged. So you go into your settings tab, Rated capacity, I have set to 100 amp hours since this is a 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery. All of these settings for different voltage batteries are displayed on your sheet and explain how you can actually change those for different voltage batteries. But in this case, since it's 12 volt, my under voltage is 10 volts. My full battery voltage we will change. This is going to be 14.6 volts. I will hit OK. The rated capacity is 100 amp hours, so since this battery is fully charged, the capacity remaining we're going to change to 100 amp hours. The Perkett exponent is always going to be 100 for a lithium battery. Once you have added those settings to the app, you will then click on Save Settings. You'll see it is saved. Once that is safe, you can go back to your main screen and you'll see that your battery is showing 100%. You'll see the voltage, remaining capacity, the amount of current going in and out of the battery and power, and estimated time remaining will change once you put a load on the battery pack. So hopefully this app video does explain how to set up your app and how to connect it to your battery. If you have any questions, feel free to reach us sales at ampedoutdoors.com or go to our website where we have a lot of good information. Thank you for watching.